Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're going to be doing a little bit of satisfactory today. Um, so over here I just added another little assembler that's going to be making me some reinforced plates. Um, mainly for belts. A few things else that we can build too. But in the last episode we wanted to at least unlock tier 5 and 6 or whatever it is going to be unlocked here. So I went ahead and made all of those motors that I was missing last time, the 100 of them. So now we have the 150 motors. And we can just toss all these modular frames in here now. And booyah! Let's seal that. Tiers 5 and 6, here we come! That's so awesome. So, so awesome. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wrong button. God, let's watch this. Bye bye. Sweet. Ah, uh, excellent, excellent. So let's see what we get for five and six. I'm so excited. I'm surprised she didn't talk. Oh, maybe it's because I hit the uh, escape button by accident. Oil processing and industrial. No oh, that's that's interesting. Wow. Okay, so this is a whole new, a whole new thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. And manufacturers, trucks, and computers. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. So we pretty much well got an idea of what we're going to be doing. Yes, so modular frames are a thing. Alright, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Alright, so I, at least I know my project for today is still standing. I thought... Uh, we were going to have to like change my plans depending on what we unlocked in tier 5 and 6. So tier 5 and 6 we can still hold off on making because I want to build something today. And I want to start on one of my first factories. And so over here we got our smelting area. Uh, iron is going to come through this one. I'm not sure yet if uh, I'm going to need multiple layers of iron and that's why I did the double belt thing here or triple belt thing. I'm not sure how I'm going to hook all that up yet. I'm still, still thinking about how I'm going to bring in all my raw material so I'm just kind of going with the flow at the moment. So here we got some um, little discussion to do. So Obviously, when the last episode I explained to you, I'm not going to be making all the factories for lower tier stuff because it's pretty much well included in what I'm going to be building for these things. Uh, modular frames, reinforced plates, iron uh, rods. So this is going to be one of them. Rotors. Um, I don't think I'm going to do rotors because rotors are used in motors. So whatever rotors I make to use in the motor factory, well, that's how that one's going to work. So this is like a standalone. This one is going to be like a standalone because you need rotors and stators for it. So this is all going to be included for that one factory, which is going to be the output of this and the output of that. That's kind of how I'm looking at this. So I should have one big factory for modular frames, one for motors. Um, the encased industrial beams are used in all kinds of other different products so I'm not going to need a factory for that in particular thing itself um, but yeah that's pretty much all it so our first factory is going to be going about doing modular frames now modular frames require all those things that I mentioned and it says it can do four per minute just one of these things here okay but I want 20 per minute that's not a very high number and it's a very small factory in comparison of what you probably could be building but this is what's going to be included in this factory uh, you need five assemblers just to make the modular frames uh, we're going to need 12 more assemblers making reinforced plates to feed the modular frames uh, being created uh, we're also going to need 12 constructors doing iron plates, 16 constructors doing screws, and 24 constructors doing iron rods. Yeah, so that's going to be our factory all crammed up into one nice big sky rise building, and it's going to be marvelous. And at the end product is going to be modular frames. It's going to be great. I cannot wait. So that's what I'm going to go work on. I'm going to go do some designing and all that kind of good stuff, and... 
when I get it kind of mostly done or whatever, I'm going to probably do cuts in and outs and all that good stuff, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, just to give you a little bit of a picture of how things are going, uh, this is just the iron, well, yeah, the iron rods that are going to feed the screw production for this building. That's pretty awesome. That's uh, 16 constructors, um, 8 on each side. They're all being fed through the middle. That's how they're going to be fed the iron. On the outskirts, uh, it's going to be all the product that they're going to make, so all the rods are going to go out. Um, I think I might go vertical right away with this, and uh, right away the second make the second floor, and then have just the screws being made here. So this row will go out that window, and then I'll go to a conveyor lift to go up to the second floor. On the second floor, we'll make our screws, and then those screws will go up to the third floor, where we'll make the what are we gonna make? We'll make the last eight little bit of iron rods, and then I think I'm gonna start putting the assemblers up there as well. So I'll see how that's gonna work out. So oops, oh yeah, that hurts. Um, I guess I should use the ladder. Put a loco tower just you know so you can look out. <laughs> uh, these things are great. Very, very handy. But anyways, that's what I've gotten done so far, and uh, I'll come back. You know, I sit there, and I'm looking at this beautiful structure being built, and all these wonderful machines, and all the flashing red made me think about something. Power. Do you know how much power we're going to need to run this thing? We're going to need three, 463 megawatts of power. We're only generating 350 megawatts of power right now, which is pretty crazy because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factories. I should actually just did seven times five, really, because, you know, I'm an idiot. And there we go, 350 megawatts of power just there. So that means we're going to have to more than double that just to get that running. Isn't that crazy? Well, really, we could double it, but I just wanted to make sure that like we can have enough to run more stuff. So, it really shows you how inefficient coal really is, right? So, I've added um, two more assemblers here. I don't know if I did it in the last one. I, I think I did. It's been a day since the last cut. Um, and I added another assembler. This one's making uh, just... What the heck? Uh, reinforced plates, and that one's making... Um, modular frames. Yeah, I had to think about that for a second. It's early in the morning, and like I said, a whole day passed by, so... Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to relocate my power. Uh, at least double it for now, and then rerun a truck over here somewhere. I was thinking maybe just off to the side would be good for it, or maybe even up here, considering, you know, like, the truck drives right by there which probably wouldn't be that bad. I could probably make a nice little platform with, uh, well, let's see, maybe seven on each side, and then it would be like the power, row of power. Yeah, I think that would work. I think I can do that in between cuts here. Um, I'd like to get this finished. I do have the first one done, so this one's all rods, and that one's all screws. And I really like how these conveyor belt things, I just want to go over here right quick and show you these things, because they're absolutely awesome. They, they, they're they totally a game changer, these things. Run all the way around to the back. Do, do, do. Here we go. I can't wait till I get the faster legs or the jet, like the jet pack. It's going to be wicked. Totally wicked. These things right here, isn't this awesome? So, I get rid of this. You see the items are all going to come off of here. So this is your rod your rod production, right? So all your rods are going to come off into this and they're going to go all the way up here and automatically. And these are like item belts, but they're um but vertically. So that's totally awesome. Totally totally awesome. So this one here is going to be for the iron. Uh obviously I didn't leave a port on this one right here because this row doesn't require iron. It's going to go to the next one up. So on the back side, I'm going to have these iron thingies here like this. And what else? What else? What else? Over here, 
I'm probably going to have the exit of whatever the main material is come out through the front. And maybe we'll put like a storage bin here or something like that with that stuff in it. And then if I have to make a bus belt for it later on, well, I'll be able to. So, anyways, I just figured I'd give you a little quick update on uh, what's going on here and our power situation on how we're going to have to slightly uh, optimize it to be a little bit better so we could at least run this one factory making modular frames like I said I got one down there making modular frames but it's just it's very inefficient that's only making like four even maybe four a minute you know and this is gonna make 20 so yeah it's big big huge difference so I'll get the power thing set up and we'll get this building up and running afterwards and uh, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna concentrate on now is temporarily doing the the power and making sure we have enough power so yeah I'll be back Woo -hoo. And there we go with a little bit of a power upgrade. We now got 1,100 megawatts of power cooking over there. Woo-hoo. All right, that's pretty, like, minor considering the... Oh, no. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> considering uh, later on you can get, um, was the nuclear power? And that does one building produces 2,500 megawatts of power. So this will at least help run our new building that's over there. Uh, over this way, I did put the truck stop and a new truck route. So now the truck won't come up this way anymore. It's pretty much we're all doing circles down there. See, so it's just going to go down there, pick it up, drop it off. And here's my little depot. So it's also being fed for coal from here and there so it's never going to run out of fuel um, I made sure of that and here we go and that just goes all up nice and cleanly it all gets divided all up through the middle here uh, oh, oh 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 come on let me up let me up okay screw you I'll do this one there we go and it all gets divided up evenly as we go through here so that's that so now Back to our main build. Oh, here comes our truck. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so now I got the second part of the, I guess, um, production line involved set up here. Uh, like I said, this was our iron rods and screws. Um, I was going to build it up higher, and then I kind of thought about it, and the assemblers, they're quite bigger, a lot bigger than these constructors, so I think I'd give it a little bit more room to work with. So, uh, this side here is going to make all the iron plates that we need, and these ones are going to make the last little bit of the iron rods that we're going to need for the assemblers to bring upstairs. So, yeah, all I got left to do is pretty much we'll hook up the power to all of these. Um, then also program each one of these to do what they have to do. And... At the back here, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, all my stuff, the iron that uh, overflows from here, uh, once that system is all up and running and all that good stuff, is all going to flow it this way. And flow it this way. And continue going here. And then it's going to get split up between these ones. And there we go. And that's how my production is going to work. <clears throat> now, I'm kind of hoping the next episode we can get steel production up and running because what's going to make this work properly for me is belt speed. Um, I need a higher belt speed than what everything is consuming. Uh, that's why I'm not doing ratios and the whole nine yards and blah blah blah. I just kind of want to go with a really fast belt speed and an overflow protection. Uh, overflow. Uh, protection overflow system where everything just kind of like fills up and 
yeah but that's kind of what I'm going for and then in the next cut well we should have the rest of the platform up there built and designing um, where all the assemblers are going and that's we're gonna make the reinforced plates and then finally the I guess what the heck are we making over there oh yeah those cubes anyways there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeehaw! Alright, so we got her all done. I got the whole top done. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, so I still have power to connect to all this and everything to program. But the layout is done. It's great. It's amazing. I can't believe it. So this whole top row here, um, these two rows here, they're going to be in charge of making reinforced plates. And all these reinforced plates are going to come out from around back. They'll join these mergers here. And they'll continue down into here. And up into here. And then it'll get split out. In, well, not evenly, but it'll get split out, split out into these. And they will make the... Um, what the heck are those things? Those cubes. <laughs> oh, man. I've been at this for so long now, it's crazy. Okay, so these are going to make the uh, those reinforced cube thingies there, and uh, we'll be good to go after that. They'll all come out, and I have them all probably merging back here. Um, they'll come out merging back here. I'll probably put a storage chest of something down here, and then after that, I'll have it come out. Or maybe I'll just have it come straight out and then go down here into a storage chest and then that way I could just access the storage chest in front to see what I need and eventually if it has to go on a bus or anything like that well I could just pull it out from there and add it into a bus so yeah oh, that's crazy this is insane so I got lots of power still left to do um, connecting um, I still have all kinds of programming for these things to do go telling the machine each one what to do I think this is going to look pretty awesome when we're all done and over with. So I moved the catwalk to the inside because the outside, uh, I think it would have looked kind of ugly. So I think inside here is pretty good because then I can walk up and down and view the factory from different angles to see what's going on. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to connect it. So after I put all the power to it and connect all the power lines and all that good stuff and program everything, um, it's still not going to be ready to run. And the reason why this isn't going to be ready to run yet is because it's going to have no raw material. We're going to have to get the raw material section set up. Um, like I said, I'm only going to have so many of these running at once. And yeah, but this factory is almost complete, everybody. Just a little bit of details left. Oh, man, so much work. All right, I'll see you back in just a little while. Ah, uh, perpetual motion. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> All right, so I cleaned up everything down here. I put it into most of those storage bins down there. There's a lot of junk in there. I got the all the iron flowing over here, and it's just a flowing. I hooked up all of these, and actually, the, all of 24 of these is only sucking up, if they're running at full capacity, 104 megawatts of power. We got 1,100 megawatts of power. I think we can do that. Finally, do you see all the lights? They're no longer blinking red. They're blinking yellow. And you know what that means? That means, feed me. So, all the power's hooked up, everything's been programmed, all the belts have been hooked up, hopefully. <laughs> and we are about to see if I did everything right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. These are for 20 modular frames a minute. Uh, yeah. 20 modular frames per minute. This whole building. 20 items per minute. Isn't that sick? Alright, so let's, uh, I'll go in here. Now, everything is going to get kind of split off. Oh, actually, you know what? I should do, uh, upgrade that. Because that's like, um, a bottleneck, I guess. There. There we go. Perfect. So now everything should flow in properly. Uh, let's go have a look at this. I already hear stuff there 
and being created and constructed and oh, this is going to be so awesome, I can't wait. I start seeing green lights. I see green lights. So this is going to take a little while for it to kind of like overflow and everything to be made and all that good jazz. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. So like I said, everything is going to take a little while to overflow. And once it all overflows, it's all going to come out through here onto these awesome little racks and go into here. I just can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. So let's go up to our next level here and see if there's anything going on here yet. Uh, I don't see anything. Everything still looks pretty... Oh, I see stoppage. I see stoppage. Oh, I wonder if I didn't hook up that belt. Aha! See, it's always a good thing to check. Uh, uh, let's hurdle this. Oh, yeah. Oh, got a little bit of too much speed on that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and there we go. Oh yes, here we go. Uh, uh, so I should go check the other side just to make sure I didn't do the same over there too. So I should be able to just run and jump. And I did the same thing here too. So, let's go like this, like that. So now, oh, all of our rods are coming in. Perfect, perfect. Now we should be making screws up the zing zang. All these screws will come out here and go into this elevator. This is what this is what I like to see. Look at this. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, that's the most awesomest thing I've ever seen ever. Oh, that was great. Alright, so let's go all the way up here now. Um, these things over here should be making plates and stuff like that, but like I said, because everything works on an overflow system, um, the whole screw system and all that is going to have to get backed up before the iron makes its way over here, unfortunately. Because um, right now our bottleneck truly is belt speed, and that's what I'm going to kind of hold base my entire thing on is belt speed versus machines and overflow and in the end I think it should it should prevail it should do well so nothing is really gonna happen up here for a little while like I said because we're missing those iron plates but she should be all up and running so I'm gonna sit around and wait for this thing to kick into high gear and I'll be back and that's how we're gonna end the episode with it actually making modular frames. I just wanted to show you like the, the at least the beginning part of it, but like I said, the overflow part is going to take a little while. I'll be back for the one last cut and uh, yeah, all this hard work was going to be so worthwhile. Gorgeous. Alright, so as you can see there, we got some iron starting to flow up to the top here. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, one side, well, one side. This side should be um, iron plates, and this side should be iron rods. Even though I know I have iron rods down here, but I wanted them to keep separate from making it with the screws. That way, I didn't have to separate them. Uh, we're going up. We need to go up, up or no? There we go. Let's go check this out up here. Uh, up here should be making the plates. There we go. Let's see if we can get up here. Uh, I don't see anything going. Oh, there we go. We got some plates. Awesome. Awesome. These things should all be full of screws, so as soon as they start receiving plates, they should be making the reinforced plates. And then, once those are reinforced plates, they'll go in here in this little subway storage there that I got in between. So that way, if I ever need some plates, I can just come here and pick out of them once the system backs up. So as you can see, we got uh, modular frames being made. And guess what? Yes, I remember the name. Modular frames. <laughs> um, after like two cuts of me not remembering what the hell it was called. Alright, there we go. We got modular frames being made. Here we go. Yes. Is this like our first one? That'd be awesome if it was. That's so sick. There we go. Our very first one is done. I'm so stoked. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode, everybody. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I had a hell of a time making it. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy the complexity of this game. And, uh, how much more complex it's gonna get later on. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. That's so sweet.